We are completely delusional. We tend to take photographs as truths, even though we know all of the ways that they can be manipulated. We know about Photoshop. We know about all the new features on your phone where you can just swipe people out of the images. But we still think what we're seeing is real. But did you know that documentary photographers and photojournalists have very strict guidelines about what you're allowed or not allowed to do when you're editing photos? Here are nine things that would totally get you fired if you do them as a photojournalist. Number one is adding things into your photo. If it's not there, it's not there. If I'm photographing sports ball and there's no ball in the photo, I do not add a ball to the photo. Number two is taking things out. Once they're there, they ain't coming out. Number three, altering the reality of the color. A camera doesn't always capture color the way we see it in real life. You're allowed to make some adjustments to compensate for that. You can take the color out of a photo to make it black and white. Sometimes removing the color can help focus viewers' attention on the content of the image. And so that is acceptable. Now, number four, adding color in, you cannot do that. If a photo was taken in black and white, you can't colorize it because that's a layer of fiction that you're putting onto the image. Number five, uh, mirroring or flipping images. You make a right-handed person left-handed. You make a, a mole go from one side to the other side. You reverse text on shirts and hats and signs. You can't do it. Cropping is accepted, but you can't do it in a way that changes the reality of the photo. Number seven, compositing a photo. You cannot take two or more photos and make them into one photo. Even if they were taken a fraction of a second apart and there's something slightly better in this one, it's too bad. Number eight, extreme exposure adjustments. Now you can adjust the brightness or darkness of a photo, change the shadows or highlights a little bit because again, what's captured in the camera isn't exactly the same as what we see with our eyes. There's a little bit of latitude to work with. But what you can't do is darken or brighten an area of the image so much that it obscures what was in that spot and makes it look like maybe nothing was there. Number nine is airbrushing. You can't uh, smooth skin, uh, change people's shape. You can't do any of that uh, fashion magazine kind of stuff. Now the purpose of this video is to educate people about the standards of photojournalism and documentary photography. This is what we practice. This is what I practice. This is not a judgment on people who do things differently. If you're doing art, if it's more interpretive, that's great. Keep doing your thing. I love to see it. But I want people to know that when you see my images uh, online, social media, anywhere, that that is the standard by which I am working. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about what may or may not be acceptable for these practices. I'd love to talk about this more and help people understand what it is exactly that we do.